Welcome to Coach's Corner, Cav fans. Uh, week one, wow, it's hard to believe uh, we're here in 2017 um, for opening night versus Kenton at home at 7.30. I think I told you last week, I'd tell you that the time. Uh, several leagues have gone to, to 7 o'clock starts. We have not got to that yet. Uh, maybe someday. I don't, it doesn't really matter to me too much. But, but it is a 7.30 start at Coldwater. And we're looking, really, really looking forward to the start of the season after – you know, obviously, several weeks of uh, of practice and three scrimmages and and uh, you know a camp, well, a four or five day camp at the end of July. So, so it's time to time to get things going and get things started. You can only practice so long and and hit your own guys and and practice against each other. So so it's time. Uh, last week, just briefly, uh, we went up to Sonora and had a had a good scrimmage. Uh, we played we played a really about two and a half quarters, three quarters on the clock uh, with 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 varsity guys and we we did rotate a bunch of guys last week so it really wasn't our full varsity the whole time uh offensively we scored four times in the three quarters uh, you know threw the ball really well uh, didn't really run the ball as well as i would hope and then the defense really played well uh, gave up i think only 50 yards in the three quarters so um, much improved there so so we feel good about that um, we've had this long long standing rivalry with kenton over the last i don't know approximately 20 years uh, it's been a been a good been a good challenge for us. It's been a good challenge for them. Uh, both teams bring uh, follow well, and each year uh, they they'll, they'll bring a bunch of bunch of fans with them tomorrow. And when we go there, we travel well. <coughs> Hopefully, the weather will will hold out for us. It seems like every year, uh, every other year at least, we had last year we had a rain delay, and and so that puts a damper on things. Obviously, when when you got to stop and wait for a while, and and then warm up again and go back out, but. Uh, it's been a good, good rivalry. Uh, you know, this is my eighth year as coach, and so I think, I think the rivalry with them is, is uh, you know, we've won four of those, and they've won three. Uh, we've won the last three, so, so we feel good about that. And then uh, 2012, we won, and, and then they, they got us three times. And Matty Mock's uh, junior and senior year, they got us. And then, then uh, I guess in 2013, they had a really good team that made it to the state semis, and they got us that first game. And, and so it's been, been, been good. Been, been a good rivalry, good fun game. If you like to watch, um, watch, watch teams throw the ball, you know Kenton's going to go five wide and, and throw the ball almost every down with some quarterback draw possibly in there somewhere. And um, like always, we're going we're gonna to look very similar depending on what our quarterback can do, um, whether he'll run the ball much. You know, we'll we'll kind of figure that out as the season goes on. But, uh, you know, the offenses will, will look very similar if you're just casually watching and and usually it's a good, exciting game. I think last year was, you know, like a 50, 56 to 39 game, something like that. So a lot of scoring. Uh, it takes a long time. The game will last long. But, but we're really looking forward to it. I'd like to focus a little bit on our seniors this year. Uh, we, we, we have 12. Last year we had 18. We have 12 this year. 12, 12 good kids that have been in our program uh, since the seventh grade. So we're really happy about that and, and feel good about that. So our quarterback this year is number eight, Sam Broering. Uh, he played wide out a bunch last year in defensive back, and 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 uh, right now he's just the quarterback. So we feel good about that. He might do a little bit of kicking, uh, depending on how our sophomore kicker does. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, but but Sam is is doing really well right now. Brad Gear and Seth Obringer are two inside linebackers. Brad's 24 and Seth is number 36. Uh, there are two starting inside linebackers, and they share the fullback duty. So that's that's good. They can get a break on offense, and uh, but they'll be out there all the time on defense. Uh, we have four, uh, three really starting O-linemen um, as we go into tomorrow night's game, or Friday night's game. Thomas Sweeterman was a 15-game starter, number 75, big offensive guard. Uh, Cody Hart is another big, big, big guy, number 77. He's about 2, 270, and uh, Thomas is about 280. And so uh, big Cody, 77, he's the other guard. Derek Albers was a 15-game starter along with Thomas and Cody. Derek's number is 53. He's our left tackle. And doing a really good job. He played right tackle last year. Jason Wenning <clears throat> will maybe play some O line, but but tomorrow night, uh, Friday night, he's going to be our nose guard. And uh, Jason's number fifty four, and uh, he he plays nose and is a backup offensive guard. Caleb Dippold and Jacob Hardings are our two inside receivers, along with Ben Wenning, who's a junior. But uh, Caleb's number forty five, and and Jake's number eleven. Those two. Um, will also play our outside linebacker spot. So, so we have a really good core of, out, uh, of linebackers with Seth, Brad, Caleb, and, um, and Jacob Hardings. And those four, those four are four linebackers, and then, then the two, two fullbacks and the two inside linebackers. 
So we feel really good about that. Uh, Jack Mullenkamp, number three, is is our return guy, and he's also our starting corner. Uh, um, and so Jack Jack's doing well. He'll play a little bit of wide out, but we're trying to trying to get some juniors in there to take those spots. Tyler Bax is a is a receiver and a special teams guy and a, and a defensive back. Tyler's number nineteen, and hopefully we'll, we'll we'll see some action from him. And then Creighton Bettinger has changed numbers from ninety nine to seventy one um, because. He's a defensive end for sure. He'll be a full-time starter there, and, and we're hoping he doesn't have to play offensive line, but, but if we have to, so we had to change his number. So we gave him his, his uh, brother Malave's number uh, from a few years ago, and, and so Creighton may be playing offense, hopefully not. And we have some juniors that are fighting for that spot, and hopefully, hopefully take that over. So good spotlight on our seniors. Uh, good group again. Um, you know, as we always say, you know, it's their team now, those seniors, and, and we're looking for leadership from them, and and some of them are more vocal leaders. Some of them, you know, are, are just just guys that go 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 do what they're supposed to do and try to lead by example. And, and we're real happy with those guys. As a team, as a team, today we had we have 73, uh, 72 guys on the roster. Uh, we had 70 of them in, in in uniform today. We have one sophomore or freshman that has a broken finger, and then unfortunately Mitch Neekamp, who would probably have been our starting safety and and uh, and help out with. With receiving uh, and, and, and a punter and and uh, on our kick on our special teams, um, he he broke his foot in the summer and so he he'll hopefully get him back in uh, two three four weeks. So so we really don't know for sure. But uh, otherwise we're we're really healthy. Kids are kids are coming and we just started school and and we and you know typically that first week is is really tough for them after going to school all day. But we've had we've had a really good Monday and two. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so we feel good. We, we practice was actually a little bit shorter today because we got things going, and and uh, you know when they when they do things well and are into it, we, we tend to cut things down a little bit. So so we're really happy with that. Again, very very challenging, um, very challenging uh, schedule for us. You know we're going to open up with Kenton. Uh, they've got some, uh, like I said, they have their typical, very very typical uh, same style of play. They're really young. They're really young. Um, defensively, they're, they're, they're only returning two or three starters, and so they got a lot of young guys in there. And then on offense, they have a new quarterback, although he's a, I think he's a junior. And then um, the receiving core, they, they graduated their two top receivers last year, but they, they got several guys that played a lot last year, so, and they're still, still really fairly young in that, in that receiving core. And their O-line, uh, they had to return, or they had a couple returners, but, but uh, so they're, they're putting a lot of new guys out there as, as we are. Uh, so looking forward to the challenge. Again, the weather's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be fairly cool for this game. So, th so that's, that's awesome for us because, because we got, have some guys playing both ways. So, so hopefully they'll be okay. Uh, looking forward to the challenge of, of Kenton rolling into Coldwater, 7.30 start uh, this Friday night for, for uh, kickoff of 2017 season.